This is the only video you will need to frame a daily bias or an overall narrative of the market using these two functions. So let's begin. These are the two functions in price. One, seek liquidity and two, rebalance old inefficiency. Because in a market transaction, there always has to be two parties, right? A seller who's willing to sell to a buyer and a buyer who's willing to buy from a seller. So with the two functions in price, which is to seek liquidity and rebalance old inefficiency, all that is doing is enticing new players into the market and creating fair valued price action. Because the main aim for the market is to always be in equilibrium. So that is to balance out an excess in sellers and an excess in buyers. Let's begin with what I mean by that. If we start with our high time frame being the daily here, look at this range. Right, if we use the overall range here, look at the imbalances that gets left behind. Yeah, you have these imbalances. Multiple imbalances are left behind. What does that imply? That implies that there's an excess in buyers as opposed to sellers. Because here, we are currently in a bullish price section following this break. So after that break, that confirms that we are still continuing bullish in line with your higher time frame bullish direction. So it leaves behind imbalances, meaning there is an excess in buyers here as opposed to sellers. Remember what I said at the start of this video. The market constantly has to offer fair value, which is when excess buyers are balanced by sellers. And the only way for price to do that is to come back and rebalance these old imbalances, also known as inefficiencies. Once it has rebalanced these old imbalances, what is your overall direction? Bullish, right? So you would look for it to seek liquidity on the buy side to continue the overall bullish trend after rebalancing this old inefficiency. Because remember, the two functions in price is to one, seek liquidity, and two, rebalance old inefficiency. So if you imagine what is happening here, price is currently heavily overextended. If we play price out, look at what it does. It comes down to rebalance this excess in buyers to offer equilibrium in the markets. Once it has offered equilibrium in the markets, those who accumulated their positions here at the old inefficiencies will look to distribute it and pair up their positions with this resting buy side liquidity. Because as I'm sure you guys are aware by now, buy side liquidity is not just your buy stops, it is also where sell limits are positioned. So imagine aggressive players who market executed at this old inefficiency, they will look to distribute it higher and pair it up with the sell limits residing above here to exit out of their positions. For profit, for example, visual representation, this is what it would look like. And this is where we would have our entries as well. So once it comes here and distributes the positions and pairs it up with the sell limits, that is when they could exit out of their position. Hence why after price rebalances old inefficiency, they would seek new liquidity for those who entered at the efficiency to exit out of their positions. And that is not the only reason why it would seek this liquidity. Because what else is also residing here apart from sell limits? Buy stops, right? So once it breaks past this buy side liquidity, buy stops would also be triggered and those who had that positions there will look to catch the breakout. And this is where price would induce new plays into the market and enter in longs to follow your higher time frame bullish direction. After price has rebalanced this order efficiency, second function is to seek liquidity. And that is what it does there. Same thing again. Following your higher time frame direction, if we wait for the new range to get created, here it gets created. What gets left behind? This imbalance that barely got rebalanced. A lot of times, when the rebalance is such a tiny wick, price would come back to revisit it, and this tiny wick would simply be inducement. In this scenario, sell side liquidity for price to sweep and accumulate more positions in the process of rebalancing this order efficiency before taking it higher and seeking new liquidity, which is this buy side liquidity. So let's see what price does and if it does that. So here, price comes back to that imbalance. Remember, price came back to this imbalance after seeking this liquidity in the form of buy side liquidity. So when that liquidity got C, the next function would be to rebalance old inefficiency, which it does here, before we could anticipate it to continue the higher time frame direction and seek new buy side liquidity, which is here, your new swing high. This is also another imbalance that price could come back into. But here, look what it does. It seeks your new liquidity. So if you follow the two functions in price, that is the most simple but effective way to build your overall narrative, but also frame your daily bias. If you look here, when price rebalanced this old efficiency, 
you know the price will look to seek liquidity off the offering fair value to assist those who accumulated their positions here at the old inefficiencies to exit out of their positions by, by pairing up their orders with the residing liquidity above here. Hence why price seeks liquidity in the first place to induce new players into the market and facilitate existing market transactions. So if you know that's the case, after rebalancing old inefficiency, you would anticipate for price to seek liquidity. Because we are in a bullish higher time frame direction, you would anticipate for this buy side liquidity to be your draw on liquidity for price to seek, right? So here, this is where you could drop down onto the lower time frame. In my case, the hourly, that is my lower time frame after the daily. And here, look at what price is doing on the hourly. It is following the same two functions in price. If you take this overall range, what does price do here? It rebalances that old inefficiency before it seeks liquidity in the form of this, right? Same thing. Here, after price seeks that liquidity, it will look to rebalance old inefficiencies. In this case, we rebalance this massive imbalance before it continues lower. And the process repeats seeks liquidity, rebalance old inefficiency, seeks liquidity, rebalance old inefficiency. Sometimes, in this scenario, price swept this buy side liquidity before continuing lower. And that is where your advanced market structure comes into place. This is your basic market structure in a bullish scenario, higher highs and higher lows. But we are aware that price doesn't just follow basic market structure. It always has to, at one point in time, seek sell side liquidity to accumulate larger positions before distributing it higher. Even though these imbalances contain liquidity within them, it won't be enough to keep pumping price higher. Price will have to accumulate at significant liquidity points, which is where your old lows and old highs come into place. And once it gives you that liquidity sweep, this is where it will gain enough momentum and size to continue pumping price higher. So that is one thing to note. Basic market structure won't always prevail. So once we had that liquidity sweep, price displaces lower and seeks this liquidity. Again, seeking liquidity. Now remember, we are in this higher time frame daily imbalance. So we will look for a realignment of the hourly time frame to take price higher and take out this resting buy side liquidity as we anticipate it to become our drawn liquidity to follow the higher time frame direction. So playing price out, this is where you had your change in step delivery. Market structure shift to confirm. So now the hourly has realigned bullish and you can look for entries here to catch this overall drawn liquidity. Simple as that. Again following the same two functions in price. Here you have this massive range. Price comes down, rebalances old inefficiencies, seeks liquidity. Here we have another bullish example. Again, if you build your higher time frame overall narrative, we are clearly in a bullish uptrend, right? Price swept this liquidity in the form of sell side liquidity. And even though here on the daily, we had short term bearish movement. That is not to be mistaken for your higher time frame direction because it's much more clear on the weekly that we are bullish. So this bearish movement was to simply, remember what I said previously, seek liquidity for advanced market structure to accumulate larger positions for price to pump it higher. So here, after we swept this liquidity from this bearish price action, we had a strong displacement. Breaking this imbalance, as well as this imbalance with full body closures. That is your change in state of delivery. And again, price gives you that extra confirmation with this bullish market structure break after taking out this swing high. So this becomes your new range. Remember the two functions in price, seek liquidity, rebalance old inefficiency. This market structure break was your buy side liquidity. It has seeked that liquidity. So what would you anticipate now? Rebalance of old inefficiencies. So if I keep playing price out here, see that price comes down to that imbalance. Now, what would you do? This is where you could drop down onto a lot of time frames again. Look for the realignment and target this new buy side liquidity because what comes after rebalancing old efficiencies, seeking new liquidity. So here, on hourly, we would look for that realignment, and that is what you had here. Here. We swept this sell side liquidity and price displaces higher, taking out this market structure break. And that is where 
your hourly is now realigned with your higher time frame bullish direction. This is where you could use the same two functions in price and look for an old inefficiency such as this to enter off of and, and target your overall higher time frame drawn liquidity. That is one scenario you could do or you could wait for price to do the same thing, tap into an hourly inefficiency and then drop down onto a lower time frame and refine your entries and either target your immediate draw on liquidity on the hourly because it follows the same two functions in price if you didn't want to hold your positions for that long. So let's play price out and see what it does. So here, this new range was created and price fell to tap into this imbalance. So we would use this new range. Price comes into this old inefficiency after again seeking this buy side liquidity. Once you see that buy side liquidity, it rebalance old inefficiencies. Now, remember what I said. You can enter off here straight away and target this overall draw. Or you could draw down onto a lower time frame, such as the 15 minute or the 5 minute, and look for your realignment too long this position. Wait for price to realign, and that is what you had here. Price took out this market structure break, and now the 5 minute is aligned with your hourly which is aligned with your daily. Using the same two functions in price, here, you have this rebalance that you could enter off of. And what would you target? You could hold all the way to this drawn liquidity, but it wouldn't be a full position all the way to this target, right? You look to either take partials or to collapse your positions entirely off of immediate draws on liquidity on the hourly. Because here, Right, if I replay this, we rebalance this old efficiency and this becomes your next immediate draw to seek liquidity on the hourly before price continues higher. Because of how tight your stop loss is, you wouldn't look to hold all the way up to here with your entire position. You will look to take partials or collapse your positions entirely. So let's go back to current price. It taps us in. Look at that. It seeks this buy side liquidity and it will look to rebalance old inefficiency. In this scenario, this old inefficiency gets left behind on 5 minute. So this is where your entry could be. And you will look to target this immediate hourly drawn liquidity to either take partials or collapse your entire positions. Me, personally, I would collapse my entire position here because it's a solid 2R trade. Stress free, you're done. You're not managing anything. But a lot of you could hold order to here and take partials along the way. In this scenario, it didn't give you new liquidity to sweep on the hourly, so it was a pretty lucky trade if you was to hold it. And price just displaced heavily to this draw on liquidity. So that is how you could use the two functions in price to not only frame your daily bias and your higher time frame narrative, but to also use it for your realignment on the lower time frame and for your entries, because price is fractal. The same thing you see on the daily time frame, which is your highly time frame, with the imbalance of old inefficiencies and the seeking of new liquidity would be the same thing you see on the hourly as well as the five minute. So that concludes this video on the two functions in price. Remember, one, seek liquidity and two, rebalance old inefficiencies. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please mention them below in the comments. Like always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.